Hey everyone, welcome back to my video review of another value solid state drive, the PNY Phantom 1 SSD. I have always had a great respect for PNY brand for their consistent quality and performance in their entire range of products. The low cost CS1311 SSD, which I had tested earlier, surprised me with its consistent performance and gave a tough fight to other brand models that are priced above this model. This Phantom 1 SSD is priced even lower than the CS1311. You can also check out my other SSD video reviews by hitting my channel name that is VM Reviews. Inside the package along with the drive you get a 2.5 mm spacer for increasing the thickness of the disk to fit in some laptops that originally came with 9.5 mm thickness hard drive. The manufacturer does not provide any accessories or migration software with the drive. Anyway, I will not complain for that considering the cheap price of this model. The Phantom 1 SSD is enclosed in a sturdy metallic case with matte finish and the body is firmly integrated with no signs of creak or cross cutting anywhere in the body and it feels quite solid while holding in hand. It's available in four capacities and you can select any one of the capacity right from 120 to 960 GB based on your budget. Read speeds are rated for up to 550 MB per second and writes for up to 520 MB per second. The 120 GB variant has 100 MB per second lower write speed than the higher capacity variants. It employs TLC NAND chips for storage and except this, PNY doesn't reveal much details about the other internal components used in this model. Even the TBW that is total bytes written and mean time between failure ratings are not declared on the website. It is backed with 3 year limited warranty. For this review, I bought the cheaper 120 GB variant and this capacity will be fine for booting system with few key programs installed. Otherwise, I would suggest you to get at least a 240 GB that has more write speed advantage and you won't run out of space in the long run and have plenty of room for installing multiple games and other AV applications. I'm going to run few popular synthetic benchmark tools and some real world tests to evaluate the performance of this drive. And here is the system details which I used for testing this SSD. Benchmarks was done on a fresh install of Windows 10 with some basic applications installed. Windows power option is set to performance mode and all synthetic benchmark tests are ran at least 3 times to confirm the consistency in all results. I start with Ato benchmark tool which most manufacturers use it for testing to declare their drive speeds. It uses compressible data for testing and this method provides higher performance numbers which manufacturers make use of it to advertise their models. Well, the Phantom SSD maxed out at 541 megabyte per second read and 380 megabyte per second write speed almost matching the advertised rating for the 120 GB variant. Next, Crystal Disk benchmark with 1 GB data size and test count set to 5. This tool measures random and sequential read rate performance using incompressible data.
Coming to conclusion, the performance of PNY Phantom 1 SSD is not as good as I expected, but it is still ok for regular users that have a very light workload. The sequential read write performance of this SSD is pretty good and on par with other budget models. As you saw in the AS SSD file benchmark graph, the write speeds are much consistent with just two write dips across the entire write operation. But where it loses is in the 4K performance, which is far below compared to all models that I had tested earlier. I suggest you to spend that little extra money and grab the better performing CS1311 model. Still, the Phantom 1 series will be a good choice for first time SSD buyers and also to those who are upgrading from their rotational hard drives will obviously experience tremendous difference in the overall system performance. Thanks for watching this video and hit the thumbs up button below if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe which is going to energize me to create more videos.